Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back into another YouTube video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing Bad Batch Episode 1 review here on the channel. So, yeah, Bad Batch has officially kicked off uh, its first episode. It was about a 70-minute episode. And there's a bunch of things to talk about in this video, so I'm going to get straight to it. So, in this episode, it kind of addressed exactly what was going on. The episode's called, actually, Aftermath. So, it's... Pretty much it says what it's about in the title. And pretty much it just showcased the aftermath of Order 66. Now, I just want to warn everybody uh, while they're still watching or whatever. That this is a spoiler review. I do not do non-spoiler reviews unless I say so. So, yeah, that's something more important to realize and stuff with my reviews. So, yeah, spoiler review. So, yeah. As I just said, it plays as an aftermath kind of episode. We're seeing exactly catching up with the Bad Batch. Uh, the episode starts off when we're not in Order 66. The classic narration for the Clone Wars uh, of just... I, I can't remember his name, but the, the person who does just talks about it. They're talking about how the clones and stuff are fighting and whatever. Now we see Depo Ballara and Caleb Dune actually come. And they were there, and then they, we see the Bad Batch make their introduction. They're fighting mm -hmm. around droids and stuff. And then we shortly see Order 66. So I thought that was a really, really well done scene as well. Uh, yeah, and then they go back to Kamino, and they're realizing what's happening. And they leave, and they find a rebel encampment. And then they decide not to, and then go back to Kamino, and then they're battling. So that that's just a brief summary of exactly what happened. But now let's go into my thoughts. So I really like the theme of the Bad Batch in general. Just even back when they are in Season uh, 7 of the Clone Wars, uh, I really like the theme of that the Bad Batch are different and you shouldn't be treating people different just because of the way they look or act or anything like that. So that's something else I really enjoyed in that they're all kind of layered like that in a similar fate similar way uh we saw more of echo with the bad batch is also very interesting as well uh and we also kind of got a clone perspective of exactly what's going on how did other clones treat other clones how did they feel about the empire coming uh there's de definitely some interesting stuff in along that those lines i really liked as well and i really like about this series going forward is is it's kind of giving a different perspective to order 66 because we I mean, I kind of know exactly obviously how the jedi felt most of them are dying so of course they're going to be going into a fit of rage not a fit of rage but they're getting more and going to hiding and stuff like that whereas clones we don't exactly know how they felt like were they feeling bad were they not did they understand what's going on because in this case uh the bad batch i think it did a de definitely an interesting job of doing it as well, that's something I really enjoyed as well. Is it did an interesting job exactly saying why uh, why they didn't commit Order 66. Because if you realize, uh, the Bad Batch had no clue what was going on when uh, the other clones were killing Depo Blara, the Kane of Noon's master, or Kane and Jarez, his master, when they were killing her. So he was just running off with Tech and Hunter and stuff. They didn't bother trying to kill him immediately i mean Ca crosshair did because he is a different story but the other four didn't try to do that so that's something else that, that i really enjoyed as well it kind of showed because they also said in the show it was like the other three they're very they're genetically modified clones and echo is pretty much just a machine so or he's more of a machine than man as they say in the show so that's something else as well i also liked the way they included Saw Gerrera as well in the episode, setting up for maybe future stuff. I, I have no clue, to be honest with you guys, if uh, there'll be time jumps in the show. Because we could maybe see a fast forward of maybe a couple months. Who knows? Because I think Saw Gerrera looked a bit different in the trailer. So that that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, is difference in like the way the characters are. Because it takes place... I'm going to take a guess a couple days after Order 66, maybe. Uh, so, yeah. Another thing is the inclusion of a clone called Omega. So, I I didn't know how I was feeling about this clone, but 
She seems like a different different kind of clone, a different kind of character, a nice refresher kind of character. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, why don't they just focus in mostly on the Bad Batch? And that that's an alright answer. But again, you got to remember, like, shows and stuff have to keep it interesting and as well and pace with events and stuff. So we're not just always seeing straight up the Bad Batch. Same with, like, the Mandalorian 2, for example. They didn't just show the Mandalorian. They tied in some uh, ba- uh, Grogu or Baby Yoda uh, into mm-hmm. that. So this would be kind of like the Omega would be kind of like the Baby Yoda and stuff to the Bad Batch, if you understand what I mean there. Uh, I thought the plot twists were pretty good. I mean, personally, I knew Crosshair was going to be bad because I've seen leaks and stuff. So I kind of knew that Crosshair was going to be bad. So I was just waiting for the second. I was like, it kind of was like, oh, why don't you guys kick him off the Bad Batch? But you kind of understand why it's stuff like that. Or why don't they like restrain him when he's like trying to kill Jedi or whatever, whatever's happening. So I thought that was, that was interesting as one well at the end of the episode. We unfortunately saw Crosshair. As he is now a full-fledged member of the Empire, it looks like. Uh, but I don't know what to say about him, too. Because, as we saw, Tarkin was, like, mind-controlling him a bit more. So maybe he gets unmind-controlled or something like that. So, who knows? That might happen. Uh, there's subtle hints as well to maybe, like, there might be an uprising on Camino. Maybe they'll make that into the show. Because that can definitely be interesting. Uh... Again, the Empire, and we could see people, again, like fighters from the Republic who now don't want to work for the Empire, so they join Rebels. I thought that was interesting as well. Uh, we also see that they're pretty much done with Kamino, so maybe we'll see, hopefully, some new characters next episode, which I definitely think could be interesting as well. Uh, action-wise, I thought action-wise was really done, well done. This reminds me of a very much, uh, very, like a season 8 of the Clone Wars in a sense. Uh, just for the fact, the animation's pretty much the same, uh, character-wise, like voice acting-wise, I mean. Same voice actors. Uh, yeah, and it even at the start of the thing, it just showed Clone Wars and then it burned off to, say, the Bad Batch logo. So that was interesting as well. Um, Tarkin's character is definitely interesting. It showcased a lot more of how Tarkin was about the clones. Because he's not a huge fan of the clones. As they say in the show many times. They say he's like, Tarkin's not a fan of clones. And he might be going after them. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it honestly. Uh, and my overall rating, I think it's a good, very good introduction. I thought it was really well done. Um, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Honestly, I don't know if I'll be rating uh, television episodes anymore, but yeah, I'll be, I'll continue to be covering these, these reviews on this channel, Bad Batch Reviews, and I believe it's running till like July 30th, so I'll be reviewing it for a while. Fridays, another thing too, before we, before I end end the video, if you don't really care about the channel, don't worry about this, but, uh, Loki, I act, I realize Loki is also going to be coming out Fridays, and so will this show. So there will be two two uh, reviews on Fridays, maybe in June, because that's when Loki comes out. Something else to uh, mention as well is I might be having to do two reviews. So I'm not too sure set time for the Bad Batch reviews. So I want to make sure that's clear as well. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh... And yeah, new episode will come out on Friday as well, so I'll be recovering that on the channel. But anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.